everyone welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me justine where all i want to do is inspire you in today's video i'm going to show you how to do a halloween balloon garland this video is sponsored by the company likey and it is an electric balloon pump in the shape of a pig which is so cute So step one is to clean and set up your space. It is super duper important to make sure you have a clean space for your balloons because they will pick up every dust and hair on your floor. I always forget to put this in the videos, but this is very important. So in this box, you will get two of everything. You'll get two balloon tires and they are um, something to assist you with tying balloons then you'll also get two balloon garland um, tape but it's not really tape it's just to attach the balloons on there you'll get two rolls of glue dots balloon glue dots that you can use that won't have the balloons pop it also comes with its own cord a cap to go over the nozzle and a small nozzle to blow up any five inch balloons um, through this pump so I thought this was super cute I really want to thank Likey for sending me the balloon electric balloon machine let's see how it works out So if you're new here on my channel, welcome. We are over a thousand subscribers. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. All the details will be listed down below. So make sure you check it out. All you have to do is like this video and make sure you're subscribed. And I will choose someone at the end of the month, which is on September 30th when I upload a new video you will find out if you are the winner make sure you like this particular video and subscribe below and you might be in the running for a giveaway So I'm not going to go into detail about how I tie my balloons as it will be in the cards above, but I am going to talk about the balloon pump machine. It is effective in the sense of doing a job and blowing its balloons. I'm just used to a dual nozzle, so that way it cuts out like a millisecond. However, if you're just getting started with your event business and you are just designing parties, this is actually the perfect pump for you. I started out with one nozzle in the beginning of when I was a, an event designer. Step three is to set up your balloon arch kit. Again, I'm not gonna go into super duper detail because I've shown this um, arch before in my previous video. I will link it in the description below. Step four is to add the clips to the balloons. As I've been saying throughout the whole video, please make sure you refer to my previous video about this balloon arch as I go into more detail. So right now I'm just giving you a time lapse of putting all the clusters together. Remember, you want two balloons um, to make a quad, so that's what I'm doing here. Thank you. 
step five is to add the balloons to the arch now remember the pole is going through the clips because remember the clip has a small hole in the middle and so you're just pushing those balloons up I'm gonna let you know right now, this balloon arch was probably one of the hardest, it gave me the hardest time. So as you can see, the other side of the clip wasn't secure, so that's why it popped out of place. And then I'll be explaining why it popped out of place in a second. So there's a side note, you have to make sure that the clamps on something straight underneath the table. That's what happened. <sighs> Continue the video. Step six, you're gonna add small balloons to the arch. I use five inch balloons. They were orange ones. Now I didn't have five inch black ones, but I instead I had nine inch. So I ended up resizing them to look like a five inch balloon, if that makes sense. I'll show you more later on. So here's some fine print about 5 inch balloons with this arch and using the glue dots. I used the glue dots that came with the balloon pump um, and it works out fine for the day of the party. However, if you plan on doing it the day before, which I always recommend for an arch because the bigger 12 inch balloons do last, these will not last. The glue dots will eventually dissipate and the balloons will start to fall off. So please be mindful of that if you are going to need to do it before an event i highly recommend a low temperature hot glue gun which is what i ended up using later on in the video Just a reminder that the black balloons are 9 inch balloons and I shrunk them down to 5 inch. This only works for 9 inch and below. Um, I wouldn't use a 12 inch balloon to make it seem like it's a 5 inch balloon. It just looks weird. Step seven is the fun part. We get to add Halloween decor to our arch. Now all of this decor, it was bought from Dollar Tree and I kind of utilized it to fill it in. Now, in next week's video, I'm going to show you guys a special 
decor that I add on this art, but you gotta wait till the end to find out what it is. So who is excited for Halloween? Not me. It's actually one of my least favorite holidays because everyone is scary and I don't like being scared. So Halloween's not my favorite, but I do like the fun decor that's around the holiday. Just the last side note, this arch took forever, which is why this video is so long. Um, you just have to be patient and really discipline yourself to make sure you're utilizing your time well. The cobwebs were probably the most time consuming along with the uh, arch breaking, but it was all worth it in the end. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up to be entered into our giveaway. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. So this balloon pump from Lanky comes with a contraption. A box comes with um what's this called? And um all the decorations that you see here on this video on this no I can't talk.